What is this? Back. Zoom in a tad. Okay, this is an open letter to the University of Louisville, specifically about their communication. Okay. As soon as I start talking, I like forget everything that I want to say. So I'm trying, I've been trying to schedule classes for the upcoming fall 2022 semester. And I sent, sent an email to my, my advisor, my actual academic advisor, the one where if I go onto the university portal and I look and I search advisor, this woman's name will pop up. I sent an email to her regarding, hey, I have a hold on my account and I don't know why I'm trying to schedule classes and I can't. I get an automatic email back saying, oh, hey, I'm not at the university anymore. It's like, okay, so what do I do? I had uh, an academic advisory appointment back in November about this spring semester with another woman in the College of Business. So I, I'm like, let me just email her. So I basically tell her, hey, I sent an email to this woman. She's not here anymore. And I didn't know who else to email because it still says that she's my advisor. So I send her this email and guess what? I get an automatic reply that says, hey, I'm not at the university anymore from this so I'm like, did no one want to send me an email saying, hey, maybe I did get an email, but I ha I checked, I've checked my email three times this semester. Anyway, so I go online. There's, they, have a, they have this website where you can schedule academic advising appo appointments. So I'm like, okay, let me schedule an academic advisory appointment. So I go, on the, I go on the website. I go to schedule an appointment. So today's April 10th. The earliest appointment was, is April 27th. I have to wait two and a half weeks to talk to someone for 15 minutes about what classes I want to take for fall 2023. And that's, oh my gosh. There's only one guy that popped up that I can schedule a meeting for. So I'm like, okay, let me send him an email because surely if his name is on the, hey, you can schedule an appointment with me, he's got to still be at the university, right? He is, I sent him an email, but he's out of the office until tomorrow. What are you out of the office for? The University of Louisville has pitiful communication Wow, it got incredibly bright. Okay, it's getting cloudy again. Maybe it's the whole university. Maybe it's just the College of Business. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm blacklisted somewhere and they're like, yo, take three weeks to reply to this guy, please. That, no way, that's, it gets brighter. What am I supposed to do whenever this happens? Zoom in like this? <laughs> I'm doing the splits right now. Okay, so I've moved because the sun came out and the, I, the entire screen was actually white. So maybe it's just me, but I don't think I should have to send five emails to five different people or offices in hopes of getting a, re a response within two days. I don't know what would need to be put in place for things to be any better because over the past three years of me being at the University of Louisville, things have gotten progressively worse. And I know this isn't like a every college thing because when I almost transferred to the University of Kentucky, I would send emails to advisors and offices and schedule meetings and they would take literally 20 minutes to reply. So I know this this is not just a university nationwide thing because I it's not. I almost wore a University of Kentucky sweatshirt just because I thought it'd be funny, but I didn't. There isn't really much point to this video other than me yelling at the university. And I've told people, I've voiced my opinion, emailed these advisors and been like, I really don't think I should have to wait two or three weeks to talk to you about something so simple. And they've told me, okay, I get it, except I don't. They said that they say that they're understaffed. Sure, okay. Why, if I send you an email on Monday, you say I'm out of the office until Tuesday? You're okay. You're not that you're not that understaffed if you're taking these Mondays off. Okay, I don't get it. And may, so maybe I shouldn't be mad at them because if they are understaffed, it's like, all right, like what are they going to do about it? But hey, I have to be mad, be mad at someone, and I'm going to be mad at the people not answering my emails. So that's okay. That's it. This is the whole video. I'm just mad because I don't I don't think this the communication should be this poor. Look, I'm getting out of school. Psh. Imagine being in school right now. So that's that's it. That's everything that I'm uh, wanted to talk about. I better be able to enroll in the classes that I want to enroll in. Ooh. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Do you have anything to say? It's okay if you don't.
He doesn't have anything to say. He's not really a talker, especially when the camera's on. He gets a little shy. What? Well, as soon as I turn the camera off, he's going to start talking. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if anyone from the University of Louisville sees this, whether you're a student, staff, administration, let me know what, uh, let me know what you think. Also, subscribe or like if you're a student, staff, or administration, or anyone else watching this video. It'd mean a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Feels great outside. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, catch you later. Alla Gator?